Hey, what's up guys? Cryo back with the next reaction and we have got O-Rain and this is his horror villain cypher featuring Leechy, JK, All Time Arcade and more. So let's hop in this. Let's go. JK is Jason. All right. All right. Keggy as, I think that's Samara from The Ring? Pure Chaos Music as Pennywise, okay. O-Rain as Ghostface, alright, alright, alright. Echo with Grace and I want to be slashing. Find him a target, I'm dying and dashing. Cannibal hand him a man of a bash. Ooh. Love the face and even where they all match him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so Echo or Grace and I wind up and slash him. Grayson's signature ad lib is slash. Jason is a horror movie, a slasher horror villain, right? So he uses mainly, you know, sharp shit like machetes, knives, etc., etc., which we mainly see Jason either use the machete or he does actually get get down and dirty with his hands and will kill somebody with blunt force trauma. Uh, just look at Jason Takes Manhattan. Y'all know exactly what scene I'm talking about. But anyways, Echo or Grayson, I wind up and slash him. That's how that ties in. He said, find them my victims, I dine them and dash them. Uh, cannibal ain't in my mandible, bash them. So, you know, pretty much dine, a dine and dash, like show up, eat quick, leave, right? But in Jason's case, he shows up, kills people, and then just leaves, right? Uh, cannibal ain't in my mandible, bash them. So, Jason's not a cannibal. He doesn't eat any of the people. He's just He just kills them. Uh, cannibal ain't in my mandible. Mandible being like your your jawbone shit like that. He he don't eat people basically, uh, but he he'll kill him. He'll kill him. He'll beat their ass. He'll kill him. Leatherface ain't even worthy outmatch him. There is a crossover comic between Jason and Leatherface, and they actually fought. Have I read the comic? No. Do I know the outcome of said comic? No. But I do know that they fought. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up. I coughed and missed that boy. What was that? What was that? Targets, I'm dying and dashing. Cannibal hit him, my man, I will bash him. Love the face and even where they all match him. Playing a game, but you out on the 13th. Freddy B. Jason, he faced a good nightmare. Dragging me under the water and no screen. Facing the ultimate duel of the night. Hey. Oh. Playing a game, but you out on the 13th. The playing a game uh, could be reference to other iconic horror like character in um, Jigsaw from the Saw series. And then Freddy V. Jason. Oh, uh, shit. Hold up, what was that? He a nightmare, Freddy v. Jason, he facing a nightmare. Um, that was a movie that Jason was in, Freddy vs. Jason, and in which case, Freddy was actually able to hit Jason with some tranquilizers, put him to sleep, and catch him in the night in the dream world to show him a nightmare, right? Freddy v. Jason, Freddy v. Jason, he facing a nightmare, dragging me under the water and no scream. For some fucking reason, in Freddy vs. Jason, they tried to say that Wadu is Jason's biggest fear and it's his biggest weakness. Despite the fact we've seen this fucker return from the same lake at Camp Crystal Lake numerous fucking times. Numerous times. Camp New Blood should have told us that this, or new, the New Blood movie should have told us that Jason is not fucking scared of Wadu. He's not scared. If anything, he's probably more at home in that than he is actually on the campgrounds, right? So dragging me under the water and no scream. We saw the end of Freddy vs. Jason. He fucking emerged from the water carrying Freddy's head. He's not scared. There was no scream from Jason at all. Also, that might be a little uh, a little bar for a ghost face as well from the Scream franchise. Facing the ultimate thriller in the Night's Tale. Oh! Thriller movies, not necessarily horror, but thriller. You'll still get, you'll still get your anxiety up. You'll feel tense and everything like that. Oh... Uh, I forget what movie that was. I think it's when uh, Tommy Jarvis's dumbass goes to the graveyard and uh, resuscitates Jason. He's pretty much a zombie, and that he's actually a zombie in that movie. Any stronger? How you trying to unalive me? Doing gloom surrounding. I'm not these other killers. I'm half as nice. The type to kill in broad day, not only at night. Okay, uh, I'm not like these other killers. I'm only half as nice. The type to kill in broad daylight, not only at night. Wait, this. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm, not I'm half as nice. The type to kill in broad day now. So with Samara with the ring, right? The whole point of this is you watch a tape. And after the tape, you have seven days and then you get like after the after you watch the tape, you get a phone call telling you that you have seven days to live. And then after those seven days are up, Samara pulls up and yeah, you fucked. You pretty much just dead. So it doesn't matter what happens. Like if I watched it right now, right now, it's it's eleven fourteen AM for me right now. If I watch that movie right now, right? Guess what would happen seven days from now at eleven fourteen? There would be no reactions. I'm just saying. Samara didn't Samara don't care. And if you watch the ring, you know why Samara don't care. Only at night. Go check the kill cam. See they always lack the fight. See no matter who you want. Unless you in scary movie, and in which case you getting wound the fuck up, Samara. I could die if you look in my eyes. Seven seven days to review the tape. Got stuck in place to look at face. These other kills not scary cuz me you don't want to face with you talked up behind the screen I'm coming to your location That's fire that's yo no that's hard cuz when you think about it Most other like except for like the supernatural guys like Jason Michael Myers And I don't care what the director of the new Michael Myers movie says Michael Myers is supernatural as fuck, right? Uh, There's still a way to escape them. There's still a way to escape them you can't like yes there are, yes there are roundabout ways in which you can get past Samara, but for the most part, it's a guaranteed kill. Like it's a guarantee. Like the only person who compl- who rivals her when it comes to certainty of killing they ops is uh chick from uh the Grudge. I forgot her name, but chick from the Grudge. <laughs> Okay, Pure Chaos Music was actually a, a fantastic choice for this, for Pennywise. The evil embodiment always be flowing, don't know what the bottom is. Okay, the evil embodiment always be flowing, don't know what the bottom is. That's, I, I have choice words about Pennywise. Well, I'm going to save that until the end of Pure Chaos' verse, because, you know, I don't like Pennywise the character. Fuck Pennywise the character. But anyways, um, the evil embodiment always be floating. Don't know what the bottom is. Pennywise is kind of like the embodiment of everyone's fears and the ultimate evil. He feeds off of fear, particularly the fear of children, right? And then the always be floating. Don't know what the bottom is. Obviously, he walks around with all those fucking balloons. So, I mean, of course, he stays floating. And it's one of his I- the iconic catchphrases from uh, the the It film, specifically the newer ones, is you'll float too. Yeah. Hiya, Georgie. You want a balloon? We all float down here. Yeah, see? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, if you're always floating, you don't know what the bottom is because his feet don't touch the ground. You think you'll be saved? You must pray to your God again. Yeah, because Pennywise, uh, Pennywise also has a, not not a guaranteed kill streak, but he has a history of, of guaranteed kills. Get the hold of the diamond. Oh, you're deep in the shit, that dairy ear. Ooh. Nah, nah, nah. You smell that shit, that dairy ear that you can barely bail. Well, good news then, kids, because this is it. That's fire. So you smell that shit, that dairy air. Dairy is the town that they live in. Uh, the air in which you, like, he's saying that the air, you can smell the fear in the air, right? And they're deep in the shit, like they're deep in trouble to the point where you can smell it. And dairy air, the actual word means rear end, like your ass. So you smell that shit, where the shit come from? Your ass. So Boom, that dairy air that you can barely bear, you can barely handle the smell of it. Cause and you know, that ties into where they fought and killed Pennywise, might I add you, in um in the sewers. And how do they do that? By talking shit. By talking shit. 
Penny, who? I see people all the time make lists like, who would you survive with that has Jason, Michael Myers, Pennywise, Chucky, etc., etc., Pennywise all day. All I do is talk shit. All, he would he would show up as my biggest fear, and I'm just going to sit back and call him a, a fat forehead-ass bitch, bro. Like, his sign is, his forehead is built like the fucking McDonald's sign, bro. Get out of here, them golden arches, bro. Pennywise is the, ooh. Okay, nope. Keep it in. Keep it in. Reaction. Okay. Hey, what's your favorite scary movie? And I'll answer at the end, but first you need to listen to me. When I stab your kids and steal your wife, turn this to Call of Duty, but it's me who call it. Pick up in a voice that's very spooky. And Yo, wait, what? Also, the Call of Duty ball is fire, because I think they did a crossover with, uh... I think they did a crossover with Call of Duty. And get hey. What's your favorite scary movie? And I'll answer at the end, but first you need to listen to me. Hey, what's your favorite scary movie? And I'll answer at the end, but first you need to listen to me. Ghostface whole iconic thing at the beginning of uh, the first Scream film. I think in every every subsequent Scream film, as well as the in-universe spinoff, Stab, the killer is always asking what their favorite scary movie is. And only after getting some type of answer... It turns out he's in the house. He's like, oh, yeah, by the way, you forgot to lock your fridge. You forgot to put a lock in the fridge and I'm hiding inside your house right now. Or some random shit like that. When I stab your kids and steal your wife, turn this to Call of Duty. I don't remember that being a motive. I don't remember that being a motive at all for Scream. What? For Ghostface. Yeah, because he uses voice modulators and a voice changer to make to change his voice, obviously. And then I think in the third film, he started using other people's voices. Wild. And I place your house and mark it down right there on my map. I yep. want things quick and fast with a scream and a slash. And I'm not a green dick, but I'll show what's behind the mask. The question I ask, look in the past. Oh, and I'm not a green dick, but I'll show what's behind the mask reference to the... I think that's a reference to the mask, in which the mask was actually green, and that, the movie, ma like, that mask was a dick. Um, like, not an actual dick, but just a dickhead, right? The mask, as, a co as comical as a character as he is, especially in the movie versions, he could be a dick. And we're not even going to talk about the the absolute dog water rubbish trash ass film that was the second the mask in the son of the mask hated it past have to go with stab <laughs> look in the past have to go with stab oh more people wait was that wait wait hold up hold up i saw i see pinhead who is this guy oh michael myers i didn't even realize he wasn't in the first lineup freddy for me hell yeah jaws one step, two step, you hear me coming nearer Now you fear cause I am here And if you scream you know I'll hear it's clear You won't hear when I appear And then I heard him worse Fuck it Jason should call this shit Friday the 31st Hell yeah. Alright, so I do like when he said they won't hear when I appear, right? Because uh, somehow Michael Myers, dead silent. He was so dead silent to the point and most people didn't know exactly who he was in the original uh, Halloween, right? That he was just called The Shape. Because they would just see him and then he'd be there and then one minute he'd be fucking gone, right? So he got the nickname of The Shape. Uh, super quiet. You'd never really know when he was near. And... Yeah, so that's wow. You most times you're not gonna know Michael Myers is there until you're dead. Uh, but I like this right here. Fuck Jason should call this shit Friday the thirty first. Now there's a huge, a huge, and this ain't in universe, but this is between the fan bases. A huge fan made rivalry between Michael Myers and Jason. Who's more iconic? Who's stronger? Who's the better villain? Etc. Etc. It's Jason. But anyways, Michael Myers, you know, his the whole thing being about Halloween, so this call this shit Friday the thirty first. Halloween's October thirty first, obviously. So you say evil dies tonight, I think you're sorely mistaken. You say evil dies tonight, I think you're sorely mistaken. That was the last Halloween film to come out. Which was uh, Halloween Ends and which Lloyd's like, oh no, no, that what happened in Halloween Kills, my bad, evil dies tonight. Like H2O, the while, I won't say shit. 
Okay, so drown in flow like H2O, you'll drown in flow like H2O. Now, H2O is like the composition for water, right? And then I think that also is a, it's a Halloween movie, but I don't, I think Halloween H2O is Halloween 20 years late. I think that's, I always get that shit confused. Even James and Janice couldn't count on my kills. Even James, hey, we got a kill count reference, bro. Told me to talk and so I crush him, now we never will. I'm not gonna cap. I don't know jack shit about Pinhead. I have never seen a Hellraiser film at all. I've seen snippets of them. I ain't never seen them in full. So all I know around this guy is that some people have a certain genre of certain stuff based around this fucker. That's it. And change the slaves, I'll change them all into a hell beast. Raising up an army because they called me, I'm in my peak. Yeah, Heidi of the suffering. I'll keep this timely, unlikely that you'll live. But if you do, you find these weapons don't affect malevolence. It's too magnificent. I laugh at all the screams are prevalent. I'll leave them all in I hope people when they're sleeping because I'm the most right there. I'm fucking up circadian rhythms, they go a nightmare. I'm fucking up circadian rhythms, they don't nightmares. So the circadian rhythm is your sleep cycle, pretty much, right? Uh, Freddy Krueger's whole thing is he comes into the dream world and he fucks you up from there. He kills you from there. And if you die in your dreams, you get matrixed. That means you die in real life. You're not Neo. You're not the chosen one. Stop it. You're fucked. Um, so yeah, he kills them in their dreams and then they die. IOL. So they trying to burn me up until my fucking skin tears. Now, yes, he did. Freddy Krueger did get burned alive. I don't think in the original films they alluded to why. But in both the 2010 remake and in Nightmare, Freddy vs. Jason, they're, uh, they're like, oh yeah, he was a pet. So, yeah. So they trying to burn me up until my fucking skin tears. That's pretty much what what happened? That you're sleeping is sound. My, now I do like that. Uh, my existence is something that should never be questioned, right? Because. They built off a they built a few movies based off the fact that Freddy is scared to be forgotten. That's heavily implied in Freddy vs. Jason. Now, of course, that movie's not canonical to either versus, so we can't really use that. Uh, you can't really go off that for actual answers. But uh, Freddy is ultimately one of his biggest fears is to be forgotten, right? Because once he is forgotten, that means no one's scared of him anymore. That means he can't feed off kids' uh, fear and nightmares or whatnot. And he loses his power pretty much. You're gonna need yourself a bigger bow when it comes to this ocean, a sinker flow. You can't swim on me, bitch, I'm a different foe. If you whistling, I'm a your body decompose. You are Brody, you only a kill. Born as a G, take a look at the gills. We make waves and talk. Born as a G, take a look at the gills, cause gills start with a G. Okay, wait, Jaws, hold on. You can't swim on me, bitch, I'm a different foe. If you whistling, I'm a your body decompose. <laughs> you are Brody, you only a kill. Born as a G, take a look at the you my brody, you're only a kill. Like, hey man, we not fam, we not close, we not cool like that. I'm Jaws and you're the prey. Back up. The gills, we make waves and talking no bills. Bitch, I got more bodies than you ever will. I ain't that shark of a Finding Nemo. When I'm done, you'll be like, where my team go? I ain't that shark of Finding Nemo. When I'm done, you'll be like, where'd my team go? That's downright disrespectful and I love that. In the dream hole, why you son of a bitch? No camera assist and no stream hole. When I pull up, I make everyone scream hole. Fuck your guns, won't die to no beam, bro. Thorfinn really got no enemies, bro. That's cause they're all inside of my teeth, bro. Thorfinn really ain't got no enemies, bro. That's cause they're all inside of my teeth, yo. Yo! That's wild. I love it. Hey, Leatherface! Oh, Chucky. We gotta have Chucky in here. Okay. As uh, J Jigsaw. Oh, is that Bram? That's gotta be Bram Stoker's Dracula, I imagine. Yes. And we got the Dark Universe coming in too. Okay. You cut this chainsaw, put this face on. Shit, I'm pretty. You cut this takes on. That's what you say, ma? I'm so drippy. All right, all right. We got we got to do this justice because this is the most iconic horror film, horror franchise of all time. Yeah, just let me cut this chainsaw, put this face on. Shit, I'm pretty. You cut this takes on. That's what you say, ma? I'm so drippy, leave this Grab the steak sauce, what'd you say, man? Okay, let me rev this uh, chainsaw, rip this face off. I'm so pretty. Now, 
Uh, damn. I'm already off to a bad start because I forget they fucking names. I forget they names. But Leatherface comes from a very fucked up family. And he's he's already special, right? He I think Chainsaw has some type of uh, mental problem, right? I can't remember exactly what it is. But he's not all the way there. And that's saying a lot considering the rest of his family. Uh, so... Ch- uh, Leatherface, what he likes to do after they catch people, they're cannibals, by the way. They 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 are cannibals. But what Ch- uh, I keep wanting to say Chainsaw. Leatherface likes to do is he likes to cut the face off of his victims and wear them himself. So let me rev this chainsaw. That's his weapon of choice. Rip this face off. That's what he does. I'm so pretty. He wears people's faces to feel good. And the most iconic look was from the 70s film where he wears a woman's face. Ain't the job cause it's too fun So you broke into my crib and then my room is where you hit Think I'll be playing these games How I got so many skins So in the 2003 uh, Or early 2000s uh, Sequel, remake, yada yada For the for this Yeah they they, they kind of break in uh, They don't break in necessarily to his crib Until a little bit later But one of them decides to hide in, in Leatherface's room. And yeah, obviously, they got fucking caught. And Leatherface, don't be playing around. He's kill on sight. I can do this every day. I've been begging for some friends. Big man, goddamn. Shit out, Texas represent. I'm the hell big guy. Also, 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 I know people most likely know, but the 2003 uh, version or the early 2000s movie also takes a little bit more inspiration from Ed Gein, which, if y'all don't know about him, look him up. Friends, big man, <laughs> goddamn, shit out Texas, represent. I'm the hell bad guy, in the good guy, tall. It feels like I'm playtime, make a good guy fall. I'm a bad guy and a good guy, dog. It feels like playtime, make a good guy fall. Uh, Charles is his actual, is the dude's, I forget, I can forget the in-universe name for this fucker. I gotta go watch Charles play again. Anyways, uh... He was a murderer who also practiced voodoo, and when he was killed by a cop, that same night before he died, he transferred his soul uh, via voodoo into little Chucky doll right here, which is the good do- good guy doll, is the actual in-universe line of dolls for him, right? So I'm a bad guy and a good guy doll. Feels like playtime, make a good guy fall, because he's literally trying to kill, feels like playtime, because he's literally acting like a doll, make a good guy fall, he's killing innocent people, good guys, etc, etc, make a good guy fall, because he kills them. You hear them voodoo words, I'm up in Andy's head, and I'm never meeting my own end. We've seen numerous times how Chucky has come back from shit that he probably shouldn't have come back from, considering he's a fucking doll. Uh, but he keeps coming back, and I think he eventually, its I think it's implied at the end of uh, Curse of Chucky, which is... A th- is what this TV show right here is based off of. Um, I think it's Curse of Chucky. And he, yeah, he, he, he finds, he finds Andy and actually is able to finally kill him. Child's play, okay. Oh yeah, King of Games right here, bro. Yugi can never compare. We got Jigsaw. J- Saw is one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. Playing with the great among the shame. And if I lock you in my chamber, it's not a choice of if you'll play it. On the matter of my games, no gamer <laughs> only plays for graves. Not a- and on the matter of my games, no graver only plays Kramer only plays for gra- graves. Yeah, so John Kramer, uh, after almost dying, he re-evaluated, re-evaluated life, and he decided he's going to become a judge, jury, and executioner. So he started he started these games, and he would kidnap people who he felt didn't appreciate life or didn't appreciate everything that they had going for them in life. People who took things for granted, people who made stupid fucking decisions, etc., etc. And he forced them to play these death games, and only the people who truly repented or truly regretted the way that they handled things would typically end up surviving, and then they would be tasked to find the next victims. So, yeah. 
A killer, I'm a cleanser, cause that sin it shows their weakness. Leave my victims like a puzzle, how they struggle with the pieces. They get muscled by their viciousness, no better death to be fit. Even though I'm just a man, my bigger shadows eclipse. Even though I'm just a man, my bigger shadows eclipse fire because ultimately his action like the legacy and the impact john kramer had within the universe of jigsaw was bigger than john kramer itself and i also like the the like uh leaving them with pieces the the, the puzzle bar right <clears throat> that was a staple for john kramer he would cut out jigsaw pieces on his uh on his victims afterwards and that was like his calling card that was his sign <laughs> Bad bi bad bitches my boudoir. Hey, I, I love that play because instead of bad bitches, it's bad bitches, and we all know of the prides of Dracula. Shape shift and I hiss bars. Don't you make a mistake? So one of Dracula's powers is he can shape shift into a bat. So when he shape shifts, he hiss bars. Ooh. Ooh, based as fuck right there at the end. Hell yeah. But no, my uh, my Transylvanian transgressions transcend. That scheme was just too fire, bro. <clears throat> okay, so. As usual, guys, if I didn't stop and break down a lot of stuff, it's normally because there wasn't a lot in the verse. There's a lot in the verse that kind of went over my head or I'm just not super knowledgeable about the characters being represented, like with Pinhead and with uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. I haven't watched Hellraiser, and um, I haven't seen the original Bram Stoker's Dracula movie. So, I read the book, but that was a long-ass time ago. Uh, but I haven't seen the films or anything like that. So, yeah. But, guys, Cypher was dope. You guys killed it. And yeah. Guys, y'all go show o the homie support. Go show him the homie treatment. Go like, comment, and subscribe. Link to the channel down below. And until next time, guys. Cryo out.